The boardwalk was opened in Manchester city centre in the early 80s in a converted old school by the Sinclair family. It was built as a venue in the upstairs and the downstairs, I think it was about eight rehearsal rooms. My band, The Membranes, was the first band to move in there. And we got a year's free rent for painting the walls and the roofs of the rooms. Over the next 15 years, the venue hosted many, many classic gigs. Who could forget the hot, sweaty night when Big Black played in there? Or My Bloody Valentine supporting The Membranes. Sonic Youth, so many bands. Meanwhile, downstairs, Manchester's bands were all rehearsing. The Happy Mondays, Later On Oasis, The Certain Ratio, You Fast Automatic Daffodils. They're all in there, stealing each other's riffs, a cross-pollination of sound. It was a classic space. In the first of a new series, when I'm out jogging during lockdown, I'll be digging out these old buildings these iconic corners of Manchester's musical history and filming on my phone little gorilla stories about them. Well here I am stood outside Manchester Boardwalk. This was the rehearsal room of my band The Membranes, the first band to ever rehearse in. To get a year's free rent we even had to paint the rehearsal rooms with red paint. I remember it's full of dust. The rehearsal rooms were downstairs. There was like a little hatch just here where the glass is now where we used to load the gear in and out. We would share this room, these rooms, there's about eight of them, with the Happy Mondays, a certain ratio. Years later, Oasis were next door to us when we returned there in 94, 95. This was a hatch here. This was the front door of the boardwalk, just here now being converted into uh, kind of posh offices. But down there's where all the action was. Sue from the boardwalk will be on the door downstairs. So we'll look at it upstairs. I remember going in here when it, before it opened and the whole two floors above were full of dead pigeons. This street out here, Little Peter Street, is where the Happy Mondays used to play football on their breaks from rehearsing. Then if we go around the back here, we can see the back of the rehearsal rooms. Oh yeah, the plaque, the bizarre plaque that I had to put up up there not factually totally correct but half correct that's always a good thing so we go down little peter street then we come along here actually the building just behind us here all these new flats is where joy division used to rehearse in tj davison's with buzz cox johnny marr loads and loads of other people but that's all gone now there's a little cafe at the bottom where everybody went to the tail end of that little cafe is during the board war days round here round we go down the street as we see here, coming up, these windows at the back, the rehearsal rooms were down there. I can't remember who's in the front room. I remember Oasis used to rehearse in that one there, down this little glass gap here. You and Jack was there painted on the wall. So the room's complete graffiti, loads of Man City versus Man United graffiti, with a new fast automatic daffodils who probably rehearsed just there. Our room, was here. This is where we would rehearse. For some reason we were in the same room for eight years. Tiny old room. Filmed some videos in there. Might put a clip of one up. Um, you could hear Oasis next door rehearsing I the Walrus over and over again. Hundreds of times. Just one riff. That's why they got to the top because they were professional. The rest of us were just amateurs. The Happy Mondays actually were in nearly every day as well. Far more professional than you'd ever believe. Although their idea of professionalism is probably different from a lot of other bands. So there you are, a piece of Mancunian musical history.